Hey everybody, welcome back to TheClinicalTrialsGuru.com. Again, it's TheClinicalTrialsGuru.com. I got addicted to making these videos in the car because I'm all about efficiency. I'm all about cranking out as much content as I can. And I'm still gonna do my videos in the studio, don't worry, but I think I can get to more viewer questions this way and crank out even more videos. Um, and because a lot of you guys have been sending in your questions at an alarming pace. Uh, I mean, I used to get just a few a day, now I'm getting like dozens. So, if you're new here, first of all, subscribe, whether you're watching on YouTube or whether you're watching this on the actual blog, theclinicaltrialsguru.com. Make sure you subscribe either way, because I do cool things like giveaways um, just at random times. Uh, prizes, I give out prizes, some not even related to clinical research. Uh, so, and then send your questions, dan at theclinicaltrialsguru.com. I'll make a video response if it's a good enough question. Uh, and I'll keep you anonymous unless you want me to actually mention your name. Some people actually do. So today's question comes from someone who recently got asked. They got stumped at a site selection visit. So they're a research clinic. It's an experienced site director, and they actually got stumped on a question. Uh, more and more now, the sponsors are asking at site selection visits what you will do, what the site has planned in case of an emergency or like a natural disaster. Um, the most notable examples like a Hurricane Katrina. So what would you do since you're using mainly paper records in your clinic, which a lot of the sites are using mostly paper records, what will you do in case of a disaster where your records are wiped out, how will you contact the study participants? So the correct answer is, and come on guys, you should know this, uh, with all the advancements in technology recently, you can have online databases for HIPAA compliant online databases to store your patient contact information, your study participant database. So you're not just relying on having their phone numbers in a chart somewhere, you actually have them online. If you're, if you're affiliated with a private practice in your research clinic, chances are the private practice, the nurses, the doctors, you're, you guys are using some kind of online tool to store patient information. It's mostly used for billing, but it's also used to store records. So you can still use paper-based records and still have electronic systems to store patient contact information. So that's the correct answer. There's a few good vendors out there that are HIPAA compliant. I use Intralinks, although if you're using a medical billing software or medical billing uh, contact management system or patient management system, that will work too because those are HIPAA compliant. I use Intralinks VIA. If you're interested in learning more, just email me, dan at theclinicaltrailsguru.com. There's a few other ones there too, uh, but those are the ones I use. Some still use Google Drive. Um, supposedly there's a way that that is actually HIPAA protected. I got to look into that and ask a few people, uh, ask a few tech legal experts in the space whether Google Drive is actually HIPAA compliant, Microsoft Online Office. But if you want to make sure that something's completely HIPAA compliant, your chances are your billing software uh, in your clinic with the private practice associated with your clinic is HIPAA compliant or Intralinks VIA which is made exclusively for clinical research organizations. Alright, so hopefully that helps you not get stumped because they will ask you this at your site selection visits. I've been asked this twice already. I did not get stumped but um, I'm starting to see that other sites are getting asked the same question. So hopefully this helps you. Let me know if it doesn't. Let me know if you're having problems finding a vendor. I can help you out. Dan at theclinicaltrialsguru.com. Keep your questions coming in and subscribe. Thank you guys.